Hey there, awesome physics students. I wanted to do an example problem with momentum conservation to see so you could get an idea of how these kinds of problems work. So the problem is this. You're in a boat and you're stranded and you have a rock in the boat with you that's about the size and mass of a baseball. So the mass of the rock is about 0.2 kilograms. And let's say you have a very strong arm and you can throw the ball if it's a baseball, about 90 miles an hour. Uh, that's pretty fast for a, for a, a baseball a pitcher. Uh, and which this is going to translate into a, a speed of about 40 meters per second. And so the question you want to ask, we're asking ourselves here is, can we give ourselves some kind of vo useful velocity with the boat if we just throw the rock as hard as we can the other direction? Our mass here is 60 kilograms and the boat's mass is 20 kilograms and we're assuming that the water is frictionless so that there's no forces side to side so in that case because there's no external forces in the x direction and let's use the x direction as standard x y coordinate system then the momentum in the x direction will be conserved or constant so we just need to write down the initial momentum and set that equal to the final momentum, and then we can solve for our uh, the velocity of our boat here. Okay, so initially, of course, we're just sitting there in the boat, nothing's going on, and so our momentum, momentum in the x direction at least, initially is zero. Then uh, as we uh, throw the rock, um, if we throw the rock with some velocity, 40 meters per second, then we're going to get a recoil velocity back this way, and this is the velocity we want to find. That is the mass of the boat and us together are going to go the other direction. So we just need to add those two momenta and they should give us, um, the, that is the final momentum. So the we're going to have a momentum that's that way, that's positive in the x direction. That's going to be 60 kilograms plus uh, 20 kilograms times the unknown velocity of the boat. And we're in the boat, so that's our velocity too. And then uh, we also have the momentum from the rock. That's going to be um, 0.2 kilograms times the velocity of the rock. The rock is going this way, so that's a negative 40 meters per second. And uh, we're, we're saying that momentum is conserved, so initial is equal to final. And so, uh, of course, this whole thing is equal to zero. So this gives us 80 kilograms times the unknown boat velocity minus 0.2 times negative 40 gives us 8 and the units here are kilogram meters per second and that's got to be equal to 0 so we just we have here we have one equation one unknown we can easily solve that so I'm going to move this to the other side and I get 8 uh, kilogram meters per second is equal to 80 kilograms times our unknown velocity or if I divide both sides by our 80 kilograms, I get V is equal to 8 kilogram uh, meters per second over 80 kilograms. The kilograms will cancel. We're left with meters per second, so our units are coming out right. And then 8 divided by 80 is going to be 0.1, and that's meters per second. And if you convert this into miles per hour, this is like 0.2 miles per hour which is completely and utterly useless. So this is not a good strategy for unstranding ourselves. Instead of this strategy, what we need to do is uh, provide a for instead of providing us a, a very large force over a very small time interval, we need to give ourselves a larger change in momentum. So we need to provide maybe a smaller force like pushing on an uh, oar on the water or pulling on a rope or something like that uh, for a longer time interval to give ourselves a larger change in momentum. All right.